right, well, the oven is heating up. We're gonna get started on our no-bake mock cheesecake. So for the mock cheesecake, first thing we're gonna do is take a bowl and a Cool Whip. And this has actually been defrosting this morning, so this can go right inside here. I love it when a plan comes together. Just get, make sure you get all of the goodness out of there. All right, that's a signal from our oven telling us that the temperature is up to 350. And then we're gonna pop the shells in. Ooh, that's hot. And we're gonna take our cream cheese and add it to our Cool Whip mixture. Once again, try to get all the goodness out. And now it's time to mix. And I tell you what, it's really a good idea if you uh, get it to room temperature. Yeah, get that get that uh, cream cheese up to room temperature, and then you could mix it. But this and is really coming along good. High crust room temperature too. Yeah. Helps mm -hmm. Tremendously, see? Yep. Tremendously. We're gonna get to that in a minute. But first, we're gonna just kind of mix this up. That's coming along pretty good. Now comes the secret ingredient, vanilla. I don't know if you gotta shake it or not, but we'll shake it anyway. Let's crack this open. And we're gonna drop a little bit in here. This is just gonna give it a little bit of zest, a little bit of punch. I'd say about, mm, let's put about a tablespoon. Okay. All right, that's it for vanilla. Let's get that mixed in there. And then we're gonna go with uh, either the chocolate nut crust or the graham cracker pie crust. Hmm, well, I tell you what, I've never actually made the mock cheese pie with the chocolate nut crust, so that's the one we're gonna use today. Now, one of the important things is that when you peel back the tin foil edging on the pie shell you want to very carefully lift off the plastic cover that it comes in okay and we're going to save this and I'm going to show you why and how in one second all right so let's uh, let's fold in the goodness into the graham cracker always the fun part and I like to use in one of these uh, kind of like a rubberized spatula that gets everything in there really nice here we go get that all in there pile it up A little bit of work to get that in there, but you gotta just work everything in. Okay. Now we're gonna smooth this out. Just nice and smooth. Push it down with this and then we're gonna finish it up with a spoon. Hey, so we're back and we're gonna put the topping on and just showing you how nice I'm opening it. And then some of them are broken, some of them are not, of course. So we're gonna use the potato peeler and scrape some of them on top to make it nice and pretty. Try 
in and do it share so it's not working out. And just keep pinching it all the way around. Everybody's gonna love this part. I can't wait to see everybody's faces. <laughs> 